Hello everybody, it's Mariotta here once again, and welcome back. We're going to do something new this time. We're not opening anything yet. We're going to have story time. Yes, story time with Mariotta. So, yeah. I was thinking. You know what holiday's coming up pretty soon? Yeah, that's right, it's Valentine's Day. And when you're single, it just is no fun. You know, you don't have girlfriend, you don't have boyfriend, you don't... You know, you don't have a significant other. And when you see other people happy and lovey-dovey and all that, it just eats at you. And it eats and eats and eats at you. And it gets to the point where you're like, man, I really, really wish I had a girlfriend for this holiday. But you don't have one. But you start thinking, well, maybe, just maybe, maybe I could rent a girlfriend. But then you start thinking, nah, nah, I don't want to rent one. You know what's better than renting? Yeah, that's right. Buying a girlfriend. <laughs> so, I do want to say, uh, I don't condone renting people. I don't condone owning people. This is just a skit I thought up while I was waiting for this box to show up. Um, yeah, and honestly, Valentine's Day had nothing to do with me buying this figure. But it is what it is. So, I hope you got a little kick out of that. Um, I haven't really publicized that I bought a figure or anything, and I got it from Amazon. But yeah, I didn't publicize it, but I didn't hide it. I mean, she didn't even go on my sneaky list with the other figure that's on there. This one just went right on my MSC page, so if you're stalking me, you know who it is. And yeah, we got a figure to open. And at least, at least one of you is going to be pissed at me about this, or not, not necessarily pissed, but disappointed. So anyways, let's go ahead and get this box open, and you can see who it is, and eventually I'll update the description and everything so that you can easily find her. But yeah. So I also had a very hard time actually pressing the buy button on this. It's been months that I've been thinking about this figure, and months and months, and finally I got her. I mean, back in November, I even got talked out of buying her. Thus, the reason someone's going to be disappointed in me. So, let's get her open, and then I can tell you more information. You know, more story time with Murialda. So, we've got a one-fourth scale bunny. Yes. Pull her out. Get the box out of the way. More packing paper from Amazon than Crunchyroll would ever dream of doing. So yes, we've got a one four scale. Chizuru Mizuhara from Rent a Girlfriend. So yeah, that intro story kind of makes sense now, doesn't it? Rent a Girlfriend. <laughs> uh, yeah, so Mizuhara Chizuru from Kanajo Okarimashu, or Rent a Girlfriend. She's a one four scale B style freeing bunny. She released back in July 5th of 2022. I ultimately finally pressed the order button on February 5th of 2023. And I got her from Amazon. And payment was part of the reason I, it was so hard to order her. But, and then it's kind of confusing. So her base price was $269.53 when I ordered her. But I technically only paid, well, in my head, $204.34 because I, uh, I had some money from a survey I got picked to do, and then I used credit card reward points, so yay. Uh, paid for her on the 5th. She shipped out on the 6th. Got here today on the 7th at quarter after 7. So, yeah, I was irritated. But anyways... Um, this figure is also currently available brand new at AmiAmi Ami for 24,600 yen or about $187. And I was this close to buying her from AmiAmi. Ami. But then, you know, shipping would have been like an extra $100, so it wouldn't have made sense and it would have taken so much longer. So, yay. But we'll spin her around. So there is Chizuru's butt. There is the back of her box showing off her full body and a couple different angles. 
There is the side of the box. Back to the front, down to the bottom or top, and then the bottom. So the top of the box is kind of chewed up, but that's okay. It's a box. So back to story time with Muriel. Why was it so hard to order this figure? Well, I've watched the first season of Run a Girlfriend, and I did like Ch Chizuru quite a bit. But the whole show just kind of irritated me, mainly Kazuya. So, yeah, never watched the second season. Th then, this figure itself. I think she looks good, but there's niggles, things that I didn't care for. Like, the shoes were chunky and everything. Her hands are giant and... Just the pose, she looks squished and everything. So combine that with the price and, you know, it's like, do I want her? Don't I want her? And it's been months of that. And then finally I just said, you know what? After a day of her in and out of the cart, I said, screw it. I've got eight minutes left to get the free shipping to be delivered on Tuesday. And I pushed a button. <laughs> so yay. Uh, let's go ahead and get her open. This... Maybe I'll put up a timestamp or something you can skip to, because story time can be boring. I uh, I get it, but maybe I won't because I'm lazy like that, <laughs> and people will fast forward anyways. So we'll pull her out of the box if we get the box open. And why, when there's a box with no windows, do they put an inner liner? So. Inner liner is red. It's got all sorts of details and shapes and stuff. And the bottom of the liner is quite, uh, quite folded and everything. Man, it's, I sure I'm being like, I'm being strange, it seems like. So anyways, she has instructions. You take the little earplugs out of her head, put her ears in, take the plug out of the back of her head, and put her ponytail in. It does not talk about this plastic piece, which I've seen plenty of videos, so I know that that is used for her foot. So yeah, this is Chizuru from the front, and Chizuru from the side, and from the booty side, over to the other side, and then back to the front. So, as I'm opening her, opening her let me talk about uh, buying figures at Amazon. So, a lot of people will recommend you do not buy figures there, because it is quite possible that you will get a bootleg, and there are shit tons of bootlegs listed on Amazon. So, yeah, for new people, it may not be recommended, but you can also get some good deals. You just use your brain and see if it's reasonable. Like I said, she was uh, $267. Now, at other stores, she is selling for over $300, $400, $500. So, yeah. But she was not $20. So, and it's sold by Amazon, fulfilled by Amazon. So, if there was a problem, easy replacement. So, you can find good figures, legitimate figures at Amazon. So, enough of that. Right. Yeah, freeing really knows how to do the rivets on their blister packaging. Okay, so that is that part of the blister. We'll pull out her base. It's wrapped in plastic. And it's kind of a salmon disc. You've got a big giant metal pole and some plastic pegs. You've got a clear plastic support and then there is another plastic support in there for her other foot. Uh, made in China and some copyright information I cannot read. Uh, we'll spin her around. And we'll pull out the plastic support. So this goes on her... I don't know if it's her right or left foot, but it goes on her foot. And then this is what pegs onto the base. And then we have... Some plastic covering her head, keeping her nice and secure. And it's also covering the other parts. So we have her little ponytail. So we'll go ahead and pull this out. And 
Yep, nice and detailed. Uh, it's got some gradient to a reddish color. And it's nice br brunette brown. And it's kind of messy. You got little strands hanging off, so that's nice. It's got a keyed end, so it only goes into the peg hole one way. And then we'll pull out her bunny ears. So they are black, shiny black, with uh, pink inner ear linings. And again, they are keyed, so they only go in one hole and in one way. So yeah. Um, a lot of people complained about Chizuru in that they felt they added too many different colors to her. Like, she's got a red dress and black. They complained about the pink, and they complained about the white bow ties on her hips and to be honest I never even realized she has bow ties on her hips so we'll pull Chizuru out and put the blister off to the side and we shall deplastic her so there's plastic around her hair her hair was another reason I really like this figure. It's very well done, at least from the pictures I've seen and videos and everything. And in person, yeah, it looks pretty good. She has some bubble wrap between her legs. And she is now deplastic. So I'm going to set her down, get this plastic out of the way. And let's do a normal zoom. And we'll pick her back up and look at some details. So, this is something new. She has some uh, loose bits inside of her, so you can use her as a maraca. Um, I'm just looking to see if there's any outward signs of, signs of damage because of that noise. And it doesn't look like it. So yeah, it looks... I'm guessing there's just a... was a couple loose pieces inside of her. And yeah. And... Hmm. This video is kind of choppy. So I'm going to... Just to be safe, I'm going to stop and restart this video. And hopefully it's not uh, bad. So hopefully it's not as choppy as it's showing up on the camera, but if it is, well, it is what it is. So anyways, Chizuru, uh, she, like I said, she kind of looks like she has some big hands. Uh, her fingers, they're welded together in places on this hand. Uh, the other hand is kind of in a, balled up in a fist. There's some crud on her one knuckle, maybe some paint transfer. Uh, she's got clear nail polish on. Um, she's got a nice uh, black collar with a red bow tie. And she's got a face that, honestly, depending on the angle you look at her from what I've seen, the expression kind of changes. It's supposed to be kind of a stern, serious, disappointed, angry face. But from certain angles, she just looks shy. And other angles, she almost looks happy. So, yay. Uh, her hair is a nice brunette. It looks nice and clean and sharp. It's got lots of shading in there. She's got the uh, Asana style hair hair braid. And nice strands. Top of the head. The uh, fringe seam is hidden by the hair band. She's got uh, gold rings on her arms where her arms attach. Her bunny collar thing. Her cuffs are black with a gold button. She's got a nice red bunny suit. Very, very large chest. It is obviously welded, but we do see a little gap right there. It's got good uh, armpit area, side flesh, side boob. And then, of course, the vacuum seal belly button. We've got the white ties on her bunny suit. I am rationalizing those white ties as being she's wearing a string bikini that's white underneath. Uh, she has some garters, which gives us glorious strap gap. Pretty much on almost all, three out of the four garters, there's strap gap. This one is flush against her butt and thigh. She is wearing thigh-high stockings, so we get the Zetairoki. Uh, the garters have some gold buckles, or gold clips and uh, spacers and everything. 
She has quite detailed lacy uh, cuffs of her stockings. Nice legs on her. Her shoes, like I said, they're kind of that chunky with the just poofy type sh toe. It's not these typical stiletto pointy shoes. Uh, there, It does have a strap that goes around her ankle. And it's got the gold strap or buckle and everything. But she is still wearing high heels, even if they are a little bit on the chunkier side. She's got a black bunny tail. Nice back on her. And she's got quite a very nice booty, which her bunny suit is going into her crack, and there's wrinkles up there by her bunny tail. And yeah, that is Maraca. Maraca Chizuru. So let's go ahead. I'm going to set her down again real quick. And we'll work on getting her on her base. So if we look at her feet, I believe this is the foot that this attachment goes on to. So it is her right foot. It's on our left side. So it plugs in and just, it doesn't go all the way up to her heel, which is kind of unusual for bunny girls. Uh, the base, it's probably cold, so it does feel a little warped. So, yay. We're just going to put her down. And we have to forcibly move her foot around to get all the peg holes lined up. So I'm going to worry about one foot at a time. So bunny girls typically are a pain to get onto the base. So you go... Come on, push the foot forward and get the hole lined up and then wiggle and push, wiggle and push and mostly there, push this one down and I think that's pretty good. So yeah, she's pretty secure on there now, I'll give her a shake test. And she's tall and heavy, so she wobbles a little bit. So now let's go ahead and tilt the camera up. Actually, let's stand the camera up a little bit and see if we can get the stand to not fall over. Which we're not going to. So uh, we're going to take out the plugs in her head for her bunny ears. Take this one out. These are pretty tight fitting. Come on. There we go. And we do see some paint rubbed off on them. Uh, if we look at the holes, the edges seem nice and clean, so it shouldn't be an issue. And while we're pulling out plugs, we'll pull out the one out of the back of her head. Uh, let's go ahead and put her ponytail in. There we go. And then we'll get her ears in. So the one with just the corner taken out, it looks like it goes on our right, her left. And then the T-shaped ear goes on our left, her right. So there is Chizuru assembled. Let's go ahead and put her back on the base, or on the turntable. And we'll just put these little plastic pieces off to the side. And there is Chizuru all assembled. Uh, let's zoom back out. And we'll do some spins, and then we'll do some close-ups and everything. So, most people, when they take pictures, they kind of this is the default angle and it does make her look like she's like squishing herself and that was one of the turnoffs but then I realized if you spin her to the side a little bit she is like leaning forward a little bit and this is one of those things where I think in person she looks a lot better than on pictures or even on video because in person you actually get 3d on video and pictures you only get 2d yeah, she looks pretty dang good, I think, so far. Yeah, her hand is a little bit big, but her big chest and very nice booty more than make up for it. 
and I'm kind of thinking displaying her more like this even though the hand is in the way of the face a little bit this angle I think the face looks more smiley happy but then this angle the face looks more angry so it is what it is and you may disagree with me but anyways let's go ahead and again we're go I'm going to hold the camera and we'll zoom and do some spins so like I said there her face definitely looks angry and then as we switch over she's starting to look less angry and more kind of worried or confused and then over here she almost looks like she's smiling and happy so this eyebrow I think is the main thing if you hide the eyebrow she looks happy you show the eyebrow she starts looking angry and then we can see her ponytail sticking out and yeah the hair I think looks very good it's got some good shading and it's painted and sculpted very nicely so we'll tilt the camera and do the chest spin because I mean she's got nice big boobs and a very nice chest region even though they are welded it looks very good I mean you can't even really tell it's welded it just looks like they're being pushed together nice sh shadow there uh, some other people have said that her skin seems very white uh, to me right now it does look no it doesn't look you know ghostly white and it does have some flesh tone to it so I don't see a problem with at least on my copy under my current lighting. Uh, her crotch region, you can see her hip line and everything and where her legs are bending. And again, she's got her garter straps which have the glorious strap gap. You can see there her bunny suit is very tight and digging into her booty. And she is definitely a very nice bootied girl. A little bit of crotch gap, but then no thigh gap. And then we'll go down a little bit and spin the legs. Come on, cooperate. Spin the legs. I love her, uh, the lace work on her stockings. It's very detailed. It's painted very cleanly. There's like no paint bleed that I can see through the camera. And then I love the thigh-high stockings instead of full stockings. And then there are her shoes, which honestly aren't that bad. And they're unique. They're different than the standard freeing bunny. And you can tell by how hard the uh, turntable is spinning. She has quite a bit of weight to her. So now that we've done that, let's go ahead. We'll do a normal zoom, tilt the camera, move the camera back, move her closer. Take the camera out and do some handheld close-ups. So, yeah, she's got a decent face. And then, like I said, just depending on which angle you're looking at, her expression just totally changes. At least in my eyes. And she's got some nice bunny ears. I don't mind the black and pink. I think it looks more realistic. Nice cleavage. And her giant hand. Her vacuum sealed belly. And this is, like I said, it kind of looks like she's squishing herself. But then if you spin her to the side, it doesn't. She's kind of more leaning forward and just looks better from the side and in person than straight on in pictures and then very nice booty on her and just very pretty thick thighs actually she has quite skinny long legs but the thighs are pretty thick good knees on her and yeah 
She's not crossing her legs at least, but her toes are pretty pressed together. So, okay. Uh, spin her back around and get a close up of her bunny tail and her back. We see some shoulder blades and some spine line in there. So, I think I've taken enough time of yours with this video and my story times and rambling. So, we'll go ahead and close this off. So, this is Mizuhara Chizuru. She is from Kanajo no Okari Masu, or Rent a, Girl Rent a Girlfriend. She is a one-fourth scale B-style freeing bunny girl. Uh, Chizuru released on July 5th of 2022. I got her from Amazon and the base price I paid was $269.53. I paid a little bit less than that because of uh, surveys and reward points and everything. So it wasn't too bad. You can get her at Amiami for less, but then you have to pay the stupid international shipping fees. Even if you pay, if you get surface, it's going to be expensive. So yeah, got her today on the 7th of February, seven days before Valentine's Day. So yay, I got me a girlfriend for Valentine's Day. So anyways, I hope you enjoyed. I'm happy with her now that I actually have her. I'm glad I finally decided to get her. And I'm sorry for the person that talked me out of her, but I just kept going back to her and I decided, let's get her. And bonus, she's a maraca. So yeah, wow, the stand is not cooperating today. So I better close this off. I hope you enjoyed. I will see you next time. As far as I know, I've only got one more figure this month and who knows if she'll come out or not. So yeah, I'll see you next time. I hope you enjoyed. Bye-bye.